we are going to start seated. You will need a strap and possibly a block or a blanket right now. We're going to start seated in Sukhasana easy pose. So we've got, you know, our crisscross applesauce. If you need to, you're sitting on a blanket here. If your knees are propped up, you're tight, your back is rounded, prop some stuff underneath you. It really helps. So either you have two options here. We're going to sit in Sukhasana like this, right leg in front, left leg behind, or Agni Stambhasana, we're going to come into fire log pose. So if you're more open, you probably want to go a little bit deeper. Or maybe not. Maybe you want to start in Sukhasana. Um, foot over knee, knee over foot, shin over shin. There's a little triangle between your legs. And we stack those legs and let the legs drop over. We're going to be here for several minutes on each side. So just make sure that you can kind of maintain the pose fairly effortlessly. So let's roll the shoulders up and back. Close your eyes, rest your palms on your thighs. You can rest your palms just resting inside of each other if that's comfortable for you. Let's draw the chin in. Again, shoulder blades down, the backs of the heart opens. Now let's bring the awareness to the breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. So we're finding stillness in the body and always finding a kind of release and a, and a surrender in that stillness. There's support here. You've got support in your center. You're lifting yourself. But there's also a lightness to the seated position. So see if you can find that in your body. Let go of any rigidity, tension in the facial muscles, soften your hips, your groins. The breath is flowing on its own. We're not doing anything to control it. Let go of the control, let go of the need to control. Visualize your current environment where you're sitting. Visualize yourself sitting on your mat here in this moment. And start to dive into one of your senses. So just take a moment and check in with whatever it is that you choose in this moment and be present with that sense. You recognize any sensations physically that may arise, viscerally, anything emotionally that may come up from staying present in this moment. And then come back to the awareness of whatever it is you're focusing on. Bring your awareness to your brow, to the space between your eyes, soften that space, the forehead, the eyes, the eyelids. Start to gaze into the space between your eyes. Find that lightness and brightness in this area and gaze deep into yourself. Go within. Drop your gaze down to your neck and your throat. Look into your heart. Rest your attention here. And be open to an intention. Allow that information to float in.
And once you've found your intention, just reconnect with the space that you're in before you blink your eyes open, your physical presence, your body, and then gently take a blink of the eyes open. Let's release the legs out in front. Shake it out. Switch the crisscross. Left is on top this time or in front. Even out your sitting bones. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to draw the chin in and come into our Dralandara Bandha. So chin is going to reach for the collarbones. Collarbone is going to reach for the chin. There's a lifting. And the back of the neck is gently pressing away from you. And we're just going to rock our head up. Chin up to the sky. Maybe jut your chin out a little bit to spread all of these tissues out. And then back into our Jalandara Bandha, chin lock. So chin in towards the collarbones. And just think of when you're walking that chin that all of this lightness is happening behind the eyes. We're keeping that energy contained when we engage that lock. So lift up, chin up, and draw the chin in, in towards the collarbones. Back of the neck presses away, just gently. And back up to the sky. Chin up and chin in and back to center. Let's take the gaze to the right. Just kind of note how far over you can look and back to center and gaze to the left. Opposite shoulder stays stable there so it's not twisting with you. Back to center over to the right and back to center over to the left. Is your breath flowing? Are you stunting your breath? Is it balanced? Back to the left and back to center. We're gonna take the right, the left hand onto the right wrist and draw the right arm across the body. So you're actually pulling your hand with your left hand and start to spin to the left a little bit. So feel your left ribs drawing to the left. Lift yourself tall here. Let's turn the gaze and spin it over that right shoulder. Make sure when you do this, your shoulder's not up like this. So drop the shoulder, spread the shoulder blade out and pull and feel that right shoulder blade wrapping around the body kind of turning opening up a little bit and bring it back to center other side right hand around the left wrist drop the shoulder spread the shoulder blade start to spin to the right keep that left hip grounded so the opposite hip of the direction we're turning is always going to stay grounded chin in gaze to the left and feel that lovely opening and come back to center. Let's turn our gaze once again to the right. Can you feel a little bit more mobility, a little bit more range? And turn to the left. I've turned into an owl and come back to center. Shoulder roll up and back. Let's float the arms up to the sky, interlace the hands above your head. Press your palms upwards. Reach, maybe take those hands a little behind you to open the chest a little bit more. We're gonna tilt to the right. Push those palms away from you. Press that left sitting bone down. Maybe spin your gaze underneath that left arm. And back to center. Let's crisscross our hands the other way. So it feels like your pinky is kind of falling off the odd way, as they say. And press over to the left. Push that right hip down. Look underneath your right arm. Breathe into the right side of your body. And back to center. Let's twist. Turn to the right. And inhale back to center and twist, turn to the left, ground that opposite hip and back to center. Let's release ourselves from the pose. Ooh, shake it out. Take a bodhi on the soles of the feet together, knees out to the side, hold on to your ankles. Inhale, we roll into a cow pose. Heart open, seated cow pose. Exhale, chin in, round out, press back into a seated cat pose. And we start to create a little bit more mobility in the front and back bodies. So squeeze the navel back, open your heart, chin in, be mindful of all of your movements. What does it feel like to move? What a blessing it is to be able to connect with your body and move it in this way. So check in with that information. One more. Round it out, come back to center. So you're gonna grab your strap. 
Keep your left foot here. Right leg is going to go out to the side. This is where blankets come in handy. Again, prop them underneath you if you're tight here. If your tailbone's under, you're rounded, put a blanket under you. We're going to take the strap under the right toes. Spread the toes wide. Press into the ball mounds of the foot. Even out your seat. We're going to take the left hand out and down to the bottom of the strap and start to turn. So spin that elbow up to the sky, left arm up to the sky, and just kind of release some of the strap if you need to, right? And start to spin those left ribs up. If you find more space while we're here, walk your hand down the strap, lift the left side of the body up. Just make sure that you're not leaning forward. So you might need to release some of that strap, it's fine. Right hand is just in front of us. We're just gonna rest that there and lift and breathe into that left side. If you have the space, you hold on to your toe. I'm not quite there. Spin those left ribs open. Get active through this right leg. Press down into the heel. Let's get a nice point, which I'm not doing. Press forward into your strap. And bring yourself up to seated. Let's switch sides. Left foot, left leg out to the side, right foot in towards the groin and straps around the left ball mounts of the foot here. Right hand towards the bottom of the strap, left hand in front of you, right elbow up to the sky. So if you're here, you're gonna start to release some of that strap and walk the left ribs over that left leg. You find more space, hold on with the left hand, walk the right hand down and open up the right side of the body. And just keep kind of playing with that, playing with your space, seeing how much space you have. Spin those right ribs open, gaze up. Soften that right hip down. Breathe. And let's rise up. Release your strap, we'll come back to that. And release those planks, shake it out. Let's make our way around. It's time for our daily plank, my friends. Come on to take them into tabletop and walk back into plank. So press it up. Plank begins now. So all 10 fingers spread wide. We do this for two minutes if you are new here. So we do it two minutes, six days a week. If that's challenging for you, you start on your knees. All 10 fingers spread wide. Press into the mat. Open up your heart. Spread your shoulder blades. Draw your navel up to the sky. Get that belly to scoop up. Use your center. If this is hard for you on the wrist, just take a forearm plank. Come on to your forearms and elbows, and it's a little bit more core work. And then, of course, do it on your knees if you need to. So all 10 toes underneath us. Maybe heels open a little bit, thighs lifted, glutes active. Breath steady, gazes just ahead of you. If you've been with me since the beginning, you probably have the sequence, this kind of step through of the pose in your sleep. Take a few deep breaths. I was speaking to a friend yesterday who was um, on the East Coast and she's practiced with me for many years. And she said, yeah, I was at the gym and afterwards I was like, oh, I have to stretch. And I thought, what would Banuk do? <laughs> and she started going through all of the things that I guide you through. So. Hopefully, some of that information is sticking. Keep the breath steady here. We have a little bit. Of, we have a little bit of time here. Not too long. Keep checking in with your center. It's just a great opportunity when we hold poses to be present. Right? It's a mindful moment. So we're physically being present with our bodies. Check in. Check in to see what you need. Check in to see if you need a break. Taking two minutes in plank is not easy. It's not an effortless thing to do. So do what you can. Don't judge yourself. Build some strength and have fun with it. Let's press back into downward facing dog. I know, maybe that's a bit much. Maybe that's asking a bit much. Let's pedal our dogs out. I, I'd have to say, if I wasn't guiding you and yapping, I probably wouldn't be enjoying it as much. So let's take our static dog, push the hips back, keep those front ribs in, hugging those upper inner thighs. Let's take the right foot to the top of the mat. We're going to spin ourselves sideways. So feet go parallel to the short side of the mat. 
hands either to the mat or a block or stacked up props. I'm just gonna fold here, ground through the four corners of your feet, but especially kind of pressing into the outer, outer ankle so we don't drop into those arches, right? Let the head drop. Hands can be, if you're really bendy, hands behind you, palms facing down. Is either using a, a support or bending your knees a little bit if you're tighter here. So we shift our weight forward a little bit, find the front of our feet, all of our feet, of our feet, all 10 toes spread wide. Again, pressing into that outer ankle a bit, grounding through the heels. See if you can pull yourself forward a little bit and then squeeze those upper inner thighs in towards each other. Maybe the tailbone up to the sky. If you need, if you need to, though, you're bending your knees, right? If it's too much on the backs of the legs, if you're not open enough. Hands to the waist, inhale, rise up, flat back. We're going to fold back in half and take a yogi toe lock here. So lead with your heart, bring it forward, index and middle finger on the inside of the toe, thumb on the outside. So the elbows are out to the side here. If you're tighter here, you're just going to fold in the way you just did right now with your supports. Roll the shoulders back. Elbows out to the side. Crown of the head is dropped. So it's not about getting, you're not taking your feet wider if you have the space to get your head down. Right? We want to find this release in the back. So let your head drop here. Draw those front ribs in. Again, find that weight shift and see where you are in the pose. Bring it forward a little bit, push the heels down. Do you feel a little bit more length? That's probably where you need to be. Inhale, half fold, heart lifts. Hold on to your feet still. Exhale, hands to the waist. Stay here. Inhale, rise. Let's take a vinyasa. Step to the top of your mat. First flow of the class. Shoot it back into plank pose. Exhale, heart leads the way. Inhale, open into your upward or your cobra pose. Oh, it feels so good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Let's flip the right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel drops. Inhale, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Windmill the arms up and around. Drop into your lunge. If you have more space, you inch that leg forward, right? If your knee is jutting past your ankle, you have a little bit more space in the pose. See if you can drop down into that 90 degree angle. Make sure your torso is not leaning. It's in the middle here. We're going to reach and rest on the thigh lift the arm up come into side angle pose and now you're going to take the hand down to the mat so take your hand down to the mat take the left arm behind you and this is where your strap may come in handy if you can't bind so if you can't bind take the strap behind your back reach underneath that right leg and find the strap behind you and start to lift yourself so we want to open up the left side of the body here. And of course, if you can find your hands behind your back or your wrists, lift yourself up. And we're just going to play with rocking back and forth here. So we're going to start to straighten that front leg a little bit and then bend the knee and start to straighten that leg a little bit and bend the knee. And then if you have the full extension, go for the full straight leg into our bound triangle here. And let's windmill the arms back up, Vera two. Straighten the front leg, flip the toes uh, to the back of the mat and go into your warrior two. So we wanna have this, uh, this feeling of the glutes drawing into each other as you drop down into the lunge and making sure that knee is not buckling, right? So that lift, left hip is drawing in. Arms out to the side. If you're really tight here, you don't have to draw that back glute in, right? It's okay if the back leg is angling forward. So let's reach into side angle. Just find the pose first, side body is opening here, and then bind. So right hand behind the back. Again, use that strap if you need to, left arm under the left leg. Find your hands or your strap, open up the right side of the body. Breathe, ground through that back leg. We start to straighten the front leg and bend the knee. So you may not go that far if you're tight here, right? Just kind of make an effort, pull that hip back. Keep pulling the right ribs back, bend. And then one more time. And 
bend and we'll stay in the bound triangle with as straight a leg as you can find here. And windmill back into warrior two. So that knee bends, we bring it up, straighten the leg, feet go parallel to the top of the mat, take a flip, step back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, float into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Come to your knees. And again, if you need to, you're placing props underneath your seat. We're going to take a full wide angle fold here. So, Upadishta Konasana. Press the pelvis forward if you have it. Spread the toes. Push down into the backs of the legs. Inhale, flip the arms up. We're going to start to pitch forward here with a flat back. So get strong in your center. Lift your torso long. Feel like you're reaching for something as you lengthen forward. The second you start to round out, just stop. Bring the arms back a little bit. Open the heart. Keep that core active. And hands to the mat. Take your fold here. Just however far forward you can come, let the head drop, but don't let the legs lose their activation. So we're pressing down into the tops of the legs. Maybe you have a little bit more room. Go for it if you do. And bring yourself forward. Deep, even breaths. slowly start to walk it up we're gonna take that uh release both legs for a second shake it out shake it out shake it up so now you're gonna bend the left knee grab your strap bend the left knee place that foot in towards the groin and the strap is going to go around the ball mounts of the right foot here and we're gonna take just like we did with the leg extended just take the right arm in front of you lean back Draw your belly in and just take that foot off in the mat, right? You've got your strap. And you're going to slowly start to straighten that leg out to the side. So out to the side. And it was the same idea of when we were in that, um, we had when we started the practice with the strap around our leg, right? With the arm up to the sky. Do that same action where you look underneath the left arm. And if you have the space, you start to straighten this leg a little bit more. Right. And for those of you that have the full opening, just take a yogi toe lock and straighten that leg out and take that arm back behind you and reach up into our compass pose. So these are all stages of getting into the pose. You could also do this with your fingers on your toes and just reach up instead of using the strap and try to get the gaze underneath there. Lean back a little bit. Open your heart. Surya Yantrasana and release. Breath like that, let's shake it out. Strap on that left foot. Right knee bends. Lift that leg up, get into your center. And we start to straighten it out. So left hand down to the mat, in front of you, maybe out to the side if you have a little bit more space. And we start to straighten that leg out. Again, stages, stages slack off on the strap. Look underneath your arm or take the full pose. Breathe, spin those right ribs back. And release. You know, it's not about getting into the full pose, it's about being present in the pose, right? Seeing where your body is, how you can find space and your strength in your body. So let's come into Sukta Virasana. We're gonna come onto the knees. And you can do this. Well, we'll come first. We'll come into Vrasana. So, sitting on a support if you need to, split those calf muscles and sit back, and just start here. If this, if you've got any stuff going on, just lie down and do a windshield wiper to the right. Maybe you can scoop that foot underneath you. Right? If you have more space, come all the way down, in between the feet. So we're going to start to walk our hands back here, and this is where another support can help especially if you're lifted here, where you can kind of lean back or come onto your fingertips. And pelvis is gonna come off of the support or off of the mat. Lift the hips up, heart is open, press those knees down. 
keep a connection to your center. So as we're lifting those front ribs, we wanna keep drawing them in. Gaze back, push your knees down, feel your open heart. And gently drop back down. Make sure you did the other side if you're on your back in a windshield wiper. Let's make our way back down to the mat. Bring the knees deep into your chest. Rock yourself back and forth. Twist to the right. Soften that left hip down. Maybe spread the right shoulder blade out. Gaze to the left here. Make sure there's space here. We don't want to over tilt our pelvis, right? Just make sure it's not crunched up. And back to center. Over to the left. Scoop that left shoulder blade out. Gaze to the right. And bring yourself back to center. Let's make our way into Shavasana. There's a lot of opening today. So much space was created in your practice. So give your body space when you come into Shavasana. You can use props under your knees or the back of your head. And let everything go. Close your eyes. Let go of controlled breath. Let go of your body. Let go of your mind. Just feel, be present with the experience of your body. What just happened in the last half hour together? Feel the lightness in your body, that complete surrender. Feel your breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. Drop your gaze into the space between and behind your eyes. Rest your attention here in this wide open space. Be open to any information your higher self has for you and just rest quietly here for another few moments. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Come back to the awareness of your body. Start to wake it up. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Take a deep stretch, arms up over the head. And draw the knees into the chest and rock yourself gently back and forth. Let's rock ourselves to a side and into fetus position. And with the eyes closed, press yourself up. Come into a tall seated position. Feel your body, feel the space you've created. Press your palms together. Feel all of that wonderful work in between your hands. Thumbs touching the sternum, resting on your heart center. Draw your chin in. 
bow your head forward and take a moment and bow down to your ability to be open, your ability to be flexible and not rigid. And not always set in your ways. Being open to change is good. Let's bow down to our hearts, the beautiful light that resides within you, the love, the compassion, the kindness. Bow down to that space, the beauty within you. Honor that space within all beings. And from this space, let us send a collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And now take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale the head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See what today's angels have to say. Number one, balance. Number two, exploration. Number three doesn't want to come with me. Number three, depth, go deep. So much information within. I will see you on your mat tomorrow for more. Bye.